Oh, now this is a, a cornmeal, the sugar, and the water, the amylase enzyme, and the other additives. And it only took about three days for this to actually ferment out. Well, a lot of y'all guys out there ask me what a keg seal is all about. Well, look at this one. We take some curiosity out of a keg seal, how it's made. Many different ways to make one. But that's the way this one is made. I had to take a regular old cooker well, Mr. Mangle iron across the top there to be able to support that keg because uh, the keg, as you know, has a dip in the bottom of it so it will not sit flush on there, so you've got to make you a square frame to go around the outer edges of the Budweiser keg, or else it will not sit flush. And then, of course, you're going to need your copter with the clamp. Gonna need your gauge. That's where this is located. And then you're gonna need your, your built-in worm, I guess you'd call it. I wish it was a little bigger, probably would be more efficient, but it works the way it is. Water goes in one, it comes out the other. Keeping it cool inside here. And then it goes into your mason jar. Now here you're gonna have your bucket with your ice. You just got some water in there right now. We'll pack it full of ice in a little while. And the cheapest thing to do is go down there to your Circle K every morning, get you when you get your coffee or something. Keep your plastic cups and I'll show you why. If you look at my freezer, you don't only just see meat. You see a lot of cups and bottles of frozen ice in them. That way I don't have to buy too much ice when I'm running that thing. That'll help cut down your cost when you're making that old brandy or shine or whatever that old homebrew. Right now that old temp's about 94, somewhere around there. When it gets up there where it needs to, you just start puking out that old clear devil's juice. And we'll see how much it actually makes. But yeah, I hope this satisfied the curiosity. Many of you guys out there have seen me put that moonshine mass recipe together. Wonder what I do with it. Well, be in the backyard hobbyist. That's all I can figure out to do with this old stuff. I do have to say this, that of all the mashes I have tried, which hasn't been a whole lot, um, man, this uh, cornmeal mash is a, it's a mess to mess with. That kind of rhymes, right? It's just a lot, a lot tougher to keep it clean, the filter out. Man, I, I think I'd stick with those cracked corn. But, you will know once we cook it out, and get to the finished uh, product, it's gonna be worth it. I don't know what's gonna, how it's gonna turn out, how strong, how mild, or how sweet. But we're gonna try it. Get that old cornmeal, cornmeal, Sugar, water, amylase enzyme. Now I figured I'd give you a shot of what I use. I use the Red Star Distillers Active Dry Yeast Amylase Enzyme Formula by B or BG or something like that, BSG. And then the, the Firmax Yeast Nutrient. That's what I use in there to get the fermentation process going. Again, all we use is cornmeal, sugar, and those three ingredients right there along with the water. I didn't show you that, but I got a little bit of pump in there. It's a DB, oh, I don't know, 68, 18, or something like that. 
J A J A L E, old Chinese thing. But it works pretty good because I just plug it in and the flow is consistent, never runs over, keeps it keeps it flowing through these lines just like it should. And it works real good like that. It just that little single pump. I don't have any kind of valves or anything. You know all the lines up there. Or down below. It just keeps an even flow running right through there. And I can tell you this, that you better have plenty of ice. You're going to need a lot of ice. Especially when it's 100 degrees like it is today. In Missouri, in these woods. Woo! Out of here. I wasn't watching it very close at the beginning. My temperature jumped up there a little higher than it should, so now I'm having to bring it back down. You see there, I got me a bunch of ice. I said I saved my Circle K cups in the morning when I go get my breakfast taco with my dogs on their ride. And and I freeze the, the ice in the cups and I throw the ice in the recirculation barrel here. Well, we about at seven jars. And uh, I'm looking to shut it down. Go to my temperature. It's getting up there at around 212, 210. And uh, we need to start shutting it down because the, the, the product that we're getting in this last jar is good. But the next jar is not going to be something that I'd be very proud of. That one's about full. We're fixing to cap it up, shut her down.